just like all them, so bet. See, we used to do this when you were with the American Blue. Cool. And we were with the sidewalk. This was the game. You know, I always hated I didn't see the show with, with, with Hendrix that you played when you was with Moving Sidewalks when y'all came to Dallas. Oh, the Dallas. You know, I, I don't know why I missed that show. The Dallas one, uh, that was a good one. With American Blues, our problem back then was we had blue hair and we couldn't go anywhere. Long blue hair in the 60s was uh, not, not hip. Uh, this, as the story goes, I know where you did go. Back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. And the blue hair dye went on the pillowcase, which cost you $2 extra per night. Extra per night. We couldn't afford it. I checked. How ironic is it that the American Blues played in Houston, as did the moving sidewalk. Then we went to Dallas with the American Blues in Dallas and the moving sidewalk. We never saw each other except on television. Yeah, we right. played every the same places but not at the same time. Item, the spinning guitar. The actual contraption came from Don Summers uh, from the sidewalks, and uh, that's OK. But they didn't have fur. Right, right. <laughs> and uh, we might have to go back out and uh, pull out the furry ones. You uh, went down to Houston, and yeah. I didn't know you went down there right. from Dallas. Right. What, you met Billy there, Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, you remember Etheridge? Well, he took me down there and uh, hooked up with Gibbons. And about two months later, Etheridge is gone. I mean, he's got to gotta go away, so we needed a bass player, and I called you. You came over at a folk club. Then you came boy. in, and you went, there's an opening. So I got all excited. They were actually auditioning. Right. You showed up, you didn't have a bass coach, you just had a... Yeah, I had, a, I had it by the neck. Right, right. This other guy in front of me had a real shiny new bass. I remember that guy. Yeah, New yeah. car. Yeah. He sat in, I sat in the back, and I noticed that uh, he was missing all the corners and playing. But I wanted you in there. Yeah. <laughs> so when he got through, which wasn't all that long, we played Shuffling C. For like two hours. Yeah. So with that every point. trick that we'd, with every cheap trick we'd learned over the years. To the, with the other band. <laughs> so I felt real locked up then. Then Billy went, thank you a lot, and left. All right, all right. And I turned around to you and I went, well, what's up? You went, I don't know, I'll find out. Yeah. And then, then remember, I, I had that house with Billy and uh, so I said, well, come on over and, you know, and we'll hang out. And you came and you brought that giant jug of wine and Billy wasn't there. And we sat there and we drank that wine. That was the two and a half dollar bottle of wine. <laughs> and you passed out and he finally got home. I was like, well, this is our new bass player right here. <laughs> Look at there him. There he is. Then we had our first show. The one you forgot your bass. Uh, you know, well, at least I had key, one. Key, key. I had one. I borrowed, a, I borrowed an amp for that. He, he didn't even bring his bass. <laughs> he, did. he shows up, we're ready to play, and he ain't got nothing to play. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Let's go do a show. Oh, by the way, I don't have a guitar. <laughs> that was at the Knights of Columbus Hall. Exactly. I'm in. Now, I don't remember our second show because they were they were all no, within driving distance. You got the bass. You got the bass. Um, Al Caldwell's son brought you the bass. That's and right. a fender break. <laughs> well, what so happened? It's, it's when you started uh, the, the, the Ferrari. Right, right. But so, why, why did it take so long? Well, I asked you the same question. <laughs> you said, well, uh, I'm, I'm doing some custom stuff to my Ferrari. Yeah. You're doing some custom stuff to the 33. Uh, Dusty doesn't drive, you know. Yeah, well, not well. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. But. Uh, as you were working on your Ferraris, uh, the 33 thing, what was interesting was how it developed into uh, a laminator. Seven years. It was worth it, wasn't it? Oh, man. What a car. Yeah. I don't know if I can outrun you. <laughs> <laughs> but you can have me out style yeah, me, huh? <laughs> now, listen. All this said, Dusty got that 49 Mercury. 
and you hide it back there. And, and, and yeah. We we know what you got. Yeah, Frank found that car for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm out of the hand. I can, I'm gonna protect my money. I'm, I'm in for another. I see your 20 and race 500. You want any of that? Ace King Eight, huh? I think you're gonna scoop. All right, now we can go play. I want to see All what right. you got. <laughs> I'm taking this with me. Yeah, he's. He, I'm taking mine too. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm tired of winning that lottery. 